You might have noticed how when he said go back to where you came from, there was an uproar uh, through the um, through all of our communities because every single person who's brown and black at some point in their life in this country heard that. Now when he made the comment, uh, I know that every single Muslim who has lived in this country and across the world has heard that comment. And so I will not dignify it with an answer because you know what? You need to pack your bags up right now and get up out this country. If you can't denounce Al Qaeda, you might as well bounce up out of America. Why don't you want to denounce Al Qaeda? If you're not down with Al Qaeda, then denounce Al Qaeda. What's so hard about saying you what's what's so hard about denouncing Al Qaeda? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. But if you down with them, you need to get up out of here. And another thing, I don't know why the four stooges had a press conference today. Donald Trump did not say any of y'all's names on his tweet. He did not mention none of y'all, okay? He he did not mention AOC nor Miss Al-Qaeda over here. He didn't mention y'all's name. So I don't know why y'all having a press conference talking about he told y'all to leave this country. He said, if you don't like this country... Go to another cut, go back to the country you came from or wherever and, 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 and fix the problems there. Then come back and show us how you did it. But he didn't say anybody's name. He didn't type anybody's name. OK, but since you can't denounce Al Qaeda, I denounce you. I condemn you since you can't condemn Al Qaeda. How about that?